What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camera Crunch, and in this video I'm going to talk about the benefits from moving from a smaller sensor to a larger sensor. And these benefits you will find when you're moving from a point and shoot to a DSLR, or a DSLR with a crop sensor to a full frame sensor, or even from a full frame sensor to a medium format sensor, apart from one of the things, but I'll make sure to mention that once I get to that point. The first benefit that you will find is that your larger sensor will have lower pixel density at equal resolutions. Now what does that mean? Well, if you put 16 megapixels into a smaller sensor and then you put that same 16 megapixels into a larger sensor, the larger sensor will have bigger pixels and basically will be less dense compared to the smaller sensor in which those pixels will be smaller uh, and more crammed in there to that smaller sensor. And with that lower pixel density comes a few advantages. The first advantage is that you will get a higher dynamic range, so you will get more details in the highlights and you will also get more details in the shadows compared to the small sensor. Again, assuming that the technology behind these two sensors are the same and the only difference is their sensor size. And so that's always good. It comes closer to what your eye actually can see. Of course, we're not there to where it's exactly what your eye sees, but the closer it is, the better it is and the better your picture will look. Now, the second advantage that you will get from this lower pixel density is that because of these larger individual pixels in the larger sensor, you will get better light gathering capabilities. So you will get better high ISO performance with your larger sensor compared to your smaller sensor. Again, assuming that the technology behind these two sensors are the same. There's one thing to note about this, and that is that this usually works when you're moving from a crop centered camera to a full frame centered camera, but this increase in low light performance, we haven't really seen it yet when you're moving from a full frame sensor camera to a medium format sensor. Right now, as I make this video, uh, full frame DSLRs are still the king of high ISO performance and that really hasn't gone to the medium format cameras yet. Now the second benefit that you will get, and this is the more obvious benefit, is that with equal pixel density you can fit more megapixels into the larger sensor than you can with the smaller sensor. And again, assuming that the technology behind these two sensors are the same, and because the pixel density is the same, we assume that the low light performance and all that stuff uh, remains equal, then I would obviously take the sensor uh, with more megapixels than I would with the uh, less megapixels. Maybe that's just me because I like detail myself, but you're not really losing anything if the performance is the same and you do have that extra megapixels and th those extra details to work with. And I, you know, I choose that over the smallest sensor any day. So those are the two benefits. And of course, there's subcategories that you will get when you move from a smaller sensor to a larger sensor. And again, most of them apply with any change in terms of sensor size, apart from that low light performance issue that you get from moving from a full frame to a medium format camera. So I hope this video helped guys. I hope it informed you and let me know what you guys think about moving from small sensors to larger sensors in the comment box down below. If this video helped, definitely give this video a thumbs up, favorite the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys next time.